training center. Battlefield under your control. Bl Bluster 1. Choose a creature with the least toughness among the creatures you control. Put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. Jade or the dragon kind. Tap and add a green to my mana pool. When you spend this mana to cast a dragon creature spell, it enters a battlefield with additional plus one plus one counter on it and gains hex proof until your next turn. Just two. Two, two. That's it. Well, she's not a creature. She plays water, so it doesn't get the counter. Then it gets. Um, vigilance indestructible and uh, life for you until the end of the next turn. Yeah, you gotta call that out, man. That's why I kept saying anything extra. Oh. One, two, three, four. Uh, Staring Bob, Dragon Bob Defender. When he enters the battlefield, I'll take the initiative. He has Mantle of Inspiration. I can tap him. Target creature gains menace and haste until end of turn. And he comes in with a plus one, plus one counter. And hatch proof until my next turn. Legendary rule doesn't apply to tokens you control. Whenever another non-token legendary permanent enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one. If you do create a token that's a copy of it, that token gains haste, sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Enters the battlefield under your control. Blows, choose the lowest um, thing. So, the lowest powered creature. You put plus one, plus one on it. So, I'm putting plus one, plus one on that because it's the lowest. And I'm going to bring this guy up. No, I'm going to bring him down. Four cards. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> One into your hand, the rest into your graveyard, and create treasure tokens. These go in there. I get to create three treasure tokens. And this one goes into my hand. Is this enough to reveal it? No. Yes. 
which means I get a token of her, right? Oh, I can pay one, and that gives me a, a token of this one from this one. Yeah, you get a token and then you sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Gain taste. Yep. Alright, so since it's a token of that, does that get the abilities? No? Yes? Yes, alright. So then that creates a 2-2, two, two, a 2-1 two, monkey creature token that enters the battlefield tapped and attacking. So that's a 1-3 and a 2-1 So 1-3, so 1, it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 Alright Which one's attacking? These two are attacking because it's yeah, one of those. That's a 1 3 and a 2 1. And that's a 3 3. Alright, I block your 3 3 with my 1 4, I mean my 1 5. Not dead. So I take 3. Mm hmm. Sure, sure. Four, so he doesn't have to manually do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring Merrim out. He gets a plus one, plus one counter. And he has hex proof until my next turn. So he's a seven, seven. And I'm going to tap him. Target creature gains minutes and haste until end of turn. And I'm gonna give it the mirror. And I'm gonna fucking smash your planes walking for seven. <coughs> he has haste and minutes. Can I ask a dumb question? Mm -hmm. What is the difference between first strike and haste? Uh, haste just means you get the attack. Uh, draw three cards and lose three life. <laughs> See, I got stopped that shit. She almost got stopped out. <laughs> If I can get another goddamn mountain, like, it shit could have been over. But you got shit that costs two reds in your hand. You can't do nothing. So, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten. So that's. 10 for 14 will give you 4 plus 1 green as 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to play Earthquake Dragon. This spell costs X, X less to cast. Where X is the total mana value of dragons you control. I got 2 that equals up to 10. So I only had to pay 5 for him. He has Flying and Trample. I can pay 2 colors and a green. Sacrifice a land. Return Earth Crate Dragon from your graveyard to your hand. And because I got Marimount, I get a token that's a copy of Earth Crate Dragon. And 
the original gets a plus one plus one counter and it's hex proof until my next turn. I'm going to attack Stirring Bob to give this Earthquake Dragon haste and menace. So I'm going to swing at you with a 7-7 seven, seven flyer, my commander, and a 11-11 with flying and trampling. So 18 all together. Don't have any access to it, otherwise it would be strong. Legendary creature, human <clears throat> has menace. Other legendary creatures you control have menace. Whenever you pay, play a legendary land or cast a legendary spell, you draw a card and lose a life. Sorcery that says you can draw two cards and lose two life. One, two. Anything special? Um, <laughs> no. And that's six. Alright, well, I'm gonna so block. So it's a one three and a two one. So your one three, I'm gonna block with my ten ten. So at the beginning of my upkeep, because I have six lands, with Dragon Master Outcast, I get to create a 5-5 five, five red dragon creature token with flying. you with two with a 11 11 a 10 10 a 7 7 yeah so uh, 11